two years later is four. And then two years after that is six. Okay, now that we simplify the problem by using small values for t, let's finish filling out our table. This will help us to get everything organized. Okay, so what was 2022? What is the corresponding t? All we have to do is now is fill in, we have zero. 2024 was T equals two years in 2028 was six, right? And of course, the population in 2028 is what we're trying to find, right? Okay. Now, Let's shift gears. We know this is a linear equation, but in this type of problem, we're dealing with functions. 